Uh, everyone is born artists, so it's just um, when you stop drawing, that's when you, you lose your focus and stuff. So the thing is, everyone is essentially what. So um, some things with like caricature is you just look at. Everyone has a different shape. Okay, so I'm gonna just do some weird stuff with you. So I'm gonna give you guys some really, really quick tips on what you can do to do some quick temperatures. Oh, okay, so if we have like, let's say these are the same shapes, right? It's, this, is the, this is the most natural shape, but there's four different stuff. You can go like this. Right? One, two, three, four, and this is like five. There's like five parts of a face that you can always use. And as long as you know those five things, then you can always play different things. So this is uh, one style. Sometimes if you go like this, this is a different style. So this is more closer together, the nose is longer. Uh, the further apart the eyes are, usually the nose goes higher. Okay? This is a very just normal, neutral face. Okay? And then here it can be anything else afterwards. It can be like a, a little bit more varied, something like this. Right? It can be a combination of any, any of these things. So when you're looking at someone for the first time, it's kind of hard to find these things out because you're just like, oh, fuck, like, there's so many things, and like, what, what am I supposed to see? Look, oh my god, look at her hair, it's, how am I going to draw this, you know, it's, it's so, it's so hard to figure it out. But one of the best things you can do is when you're drawing somebody, and you can't figure out what you, what you got to do, you just don't look at them, you just turn away and you start looking at other people. And then when you start looking at other people, you find more contrast, you find differences in faces and shapes like that. And you look at the person again, you're like, okay, I, I got it now, you got an idea. Okay, so, uh, what you can do, uh, there's, a, there's a few things that, that they have in caricature, this is some, things, some theories that they have, is uh, there is, oh joy, Oh, yeah. There is a. Uh, there is innate, right? There's innate. There is uh, materialistic, and there is acquired. Okay. So as an example, for each one, innate is means something the person is born with, right? Some people are born with big noses, and some people are born with small ears, big eyes, small teeth, something like that. That means they were born with that trait, so that is their tukjing. The tukjing is like a special characteristic. So usually when you look at anybody, they have something really special that they're innately born with. So you can you can just focus on that one thing. Yeah, we do. Oh yeah. <laughs> the next one is uh, it's materialistic, right? So materialistic is basically people have, um, for example, glasses, right? They wear it all the time. That's their thing. If you think of like Steve Urkel. <clears throat> You know, you think of his glasses or something. If he doesn't have glasses, he's Stefan, and he's not Urkel anymore, right? Like, it just changes. So, um, you think of some very famous people, Indiana Jones or Darth Vader or something like that, obviously. But, you know, they have their tukjing for caricature is based on their materialistic, you know, uh, feature or expression. So, the next one is acquired. And acquired is things that you get, um, that you get through time, which means wrinkles, uh, scars pimples, hair, no hair, something like that. Those are all applied. Those are things that you get through time. So those are the three things that you can do. So if you basically play with the, with the uh, five main things, which is like the ears, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth and stuff, you change, you play around with the, with the positions, and then later on you can play with the shape of the head as well. You know, usually um, the lower you put the eyes and the nose, the younger the person looks. Right? Because kids, kids have huge heads, you know? <laughs> That's what it is. You know, you drop a kid, it's going to look like this after, right? You know? But the thing is, later on, when this kid grows out, is, you know, they kind of go like this. So the idea is, you can find the basis just by looking at their eyes and see, are they really close together or are they really further apart, right? So one thing you can think of is, like, you have um, two balls... <laughs> yeah, two balls right here, right? And there's another ball right in the middle, right? And oh. the, the further away you pull those balls, oh. the, the higher the ball goes up in the middle, right? The closer you go like this, the lower it goes. So, you know, the further away the, the eyes are, the higher the nose you put up, right? The closer the eyes, the, you know, the heavier it is. 
but that's balls are said. on a string. Yeah, the balls are on a okay. string. Yeah. yeah. So that's what it is. It can be balls or whatever you want. That's the thing. <laughs> getting, this, this, getting hot in here. Yeah. It is getting hot in here. So uh, let's let's do it up now. Okay. So uh, one of the things uh, when you're looking at Allison, for example, is her hair. That's the first thing I see, right? Braid. Right. That's, that's the the Pixar component. So that's her materialistic trait. Her innate trait is um, her eyes and her nose. Like at this point, I I would say her eyes, but you'd be turned to the side. Oh my God, that's her nose as well, right? <laughs> so then if I looked at her, I'd be like, Hey, can you just turn your head a little bit? Okay, stop right there, and I'd be like, Okay, now I can see all her best features and stuff, right? Because if someone goes like this, you don't even realize, Holy shit! Like, what's going on in this slide or something? You know? So you always want to make sure they're moving. If they're moving a lot, that's usually the best thing because you don't you kind of get more of um, of their overall feeling, you know, because otherwise you're basically drawing and drawing into a finalized, you know, still piece, but during the process people are moving, they're talking and stuff, you basically want to get their personality, that's, that's the most hardest thing you, you can do, so caricature is about finding their personality and then taking it out physically, taking their best features and exaggerate it so much that it looks more like them which is a little bit weird, right? Like, you have to exaggerate it so much, it looks more like that person. Okay, so... Right, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna just do a quick sketch, you know, I'm gonna use, like, a blue pencil, really nice and light. And, uh, let's just look over here for a second, okay? So, um... Very, very light, you know, I'm, I'm not worried about having really, um, hard strokes. I mean, this thing sounds so weird. And then, uh... <laughs> Okay. I'm looking at the overall uh, shapes of, of, her, of her hair, for example. You know, hair can be really complicated and stuff because there's so many... Um, oh, brother. It's my lightsaber. It's my lightsaber. It's so horny. It's so attractive. It's like... Boom! It's my lightsaber went off. My bad. I thought it was a camera for a moment. I'm going to... So basically, I'm just looking at the overall shape like that. I, I love wavy hair because it's like um, curves going into wavy. curves and stuff. Yeah, it's very wavy, but it's um, how you use your line because essentially, you know, line does not exist. It's, it's, a, it's just a physical, perceptual concept. It doesn't exist at all. When you look at everything here, you see lines, but that's not really what you see. It's actually things, you know, spaces and volume placed together that you actually see this illusion. So, when you're using lines... Yeah, you just got yeah. to <laughs> I know. I didn't bring any drugs, but I hope this helps. Yeah. Right? So, like, when, when, you're, when you're drawing, right, you're translating everything, and it's, it's amazing how someone can draw something that looks so real, but it's all with line. And, uh, for example, Farhad, you know, he's doing all these, um, what's, what's I say Arabic? Arabic. Yeah, Arabic writing and stuff, and then that's, I love that kind of stuff because writing is so close to drawing because it's, it's um, translating messages from your brain onto the pieces of paper, right? When you're writing a letter to someone, you know, they always have in between the lines, like you're reading what the person is saying, but in between the lines, they're saying something more to you and stuff. So every person has a different style of writing. It's like no two people have the same fingerprints. So when someone is writing, you can see the personality. And that's exactly the same thing that happens every time someone is... Uh, is drawing because if we all draw Allison, we're all going to get different types of versions from her, right? It's like all different bizarre alternate dimension, you know, versions of her and stuff. But the thing is, is that this is their interpretation of reality. You never want to make something look exactly like the person. You want to make your own interpretation. So this is how I see it. You know, you don't want to think. This is how I want people to think. How it should be. Okay, so. So what I'm going to do, she has a uh, very big eyes. This is very simple what I'm doing here now. A little more this way. Okay. Uh, all right, let me do it. Okay. It's already almost like her. Yeah, right? And it's because of... <laughs> <laughs> it does look like her. And then if you look at her pupils, right, they're always constantly dilated like she's on E. So that's always good <laughs> <laughs> So uh, in another thing too is uh, usually when I'm when I'm drawing people, so sometimes I get adjectives in my head, right? Like um, sometimes you see a person oh, pudgy or stretchy or like <clears throat> something something about them. There's a specific word, and you go with that. You go with that feeling. Like um, 
sometimes um, for Allison, I, I get that feeling where it's um, the nose, if it's really pointed and the eyes are big, I sometimes think of a mosquito for some reason. Mosquitoes, <laughs> when I see a, when a cartoon picture of a mosquito, it has like a really long nose and it has like big eyes or something like that. But it can always change too. So, and the thing is, you know, I made this basic circle, but what I can do also is I can start, you know, adjusting these things as well. Right? That's creepy. <laughs> And adding the neck also makes a big difference as well. Or sometimes people have no necks, which is, makes it even better. <laughs> you know, some people, some people are just like one big body, you know, they have just no neck at all. <laughs> this, is, this is Chad right here, <laughs> right? <laughs> that shape right there. <laughs> can you see that? That's like perfect. So like everyone, you, you can caricature the entire body. It's not just about the face at all. Okay, and then uh, she has uh, very deep eyelids and um, big eyelashes as well. Okay, smile a little bit. Okay. Okay, and then uh, right there. Okay, so this is this is the basic thing that I have going on right now. Okay, this is very basic, right? And. Uh, when I'm doing sketches, I only do up to a point where like, I have everything I need, you know. I don't want to keep sketching till it looks like the final thing. Because once I start using, uh, you know, this pen, this is the conviction, right? This is consistency. You know, there's two ways to draw. Like, when you draw consistently, it's like you're always putting something in front of the other. You're building step by step. But if you don't do a sketch at all and you're just playing with a pen, that's like you're standing in front of your drawing every time. Because you can't, if you fuck up, that's it. You know, there's no marker, or, or sorry, there's no eraser for that. So I, sometimes I prefer to have this as well. And if I use this compared to this, I'm gonna have a different type of feeling to it as well. So that's why, at this point, if you don't have a, a favorite material, that's perfect, because you just buy all the shit that you have no idea what it's about, and you play with everything, and then naturally you're gonna find the things that work best for you, you know? If someone says, oh, use this pencil, you gotta sh shave it this way, before all this, don't worry about that, just get whatever you want, and then you're gonna make up your own style that way. Okay, so, uh, as well with this, <coughs> like we said before, line is really important and stuff. This is, uh, I, you can tell it's kind of like a brush pen and stuff. So what you can do with practice, you can practice lines as well, right? And then when you practice with lines, you want to go with uh, thick and thin. It's kind of awkward, like that. So, so yeah, it is working. All right, so, so it can be really thin too, right? And then thick again. So you can get a huge depth, right? So it's one thing to know what you're drawing, but it's really good to control what you're using as well. Okay, so. At this point, this is where I make really weird faces because I'm always looking at the person. You know, I'm always like, ah, oh, like this, and you know, uh, that's that's one of my favorite parts because this it's the fun thing about caricaturism, or you just drawing in general is you get to meet people and they they approach you and they are giving you the chance to um, judge them. You know, and then they're like, hey, they're like, can you can you judge me? And I'll pay you some time for it. <laughs> and it. Even if it's like the most craziest thing that you do, like you just you just jack their face up. Then it's just like if it's truthful, you know that's amazing. And sometimes if they don't like it, doesn't matter. So the thing is, you know, there's a fine line. There's a huge problem when you're uh, doing caricatures. Is that um, you want to make the character happy or the person happy, but the thing is, you gotta make yourself satisfied with what you're doing because if you play too safe, then if you play too safe, then you're never going to push yourself with what you want to do. You're not going to kind of um, challenge yourself to make a new style. Thanks. So the most important thing when you're drawing, especially for someone else, is you have to just satisfy yourself. It doesn't matter if the person doesn't like it at all. If you're happy with what you're doing, that is the most important thing. So uh, let's look at you here. Okay. 
make my eyes look like Okay, already you kind of get a feeling already, you know, she has these kind of Disney like, things going on. Okay. Okay. I, I also remember the first time I ever did caricature live, and it was the most nerve-wracking thing mm -hmm. I, I ever did. Like, I was like, I was like this the whole time. <laughs> and I was like doing at Latte World or something. And, and then uh, as I was doing it, my, my palms were getting like so sweaty and the whole thing was like all with black marks and everything and I like, showed it to them and I'm like, oh my god, this is terrible. But um, it's definitely a good experience. If you don't do it, then you're never going to get better. So. Uh. And then what I used to do afterwards is um, just go out and draw people for free on the streets. Because that way, you know, they can't get mad. You know, if you fuck up, you, they didn't pay for it, and if they don't want it, you keep it, and so. Uh, also, uh, I have a friend of mine, uh, his name is uh, Nate Kapnicki, he's from the States, and he's an extraordinary caricature artist. And uh, one of the, the most interesting things he told me, which is very, very recently, was, um, he says, you got to look and find the visual noise of the person. And I'm like, what does that mean, visual noise? And he says, basically, when you see a certain person's face, they, their face expression makes a certain sound, and you want to um, translate that sound to what they're saying. Um, it's like getting this, you're like, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, okay. that's the sound I hear. So just starting like there, very easy, right? Okay, smile again. You know, sometimes girls have these creases here, right? Um, every time you put a more lines on the face, you add five more years. Okay, so you got to be careful how many lines you put in. Sometimes you draw, like I'm drawing like little kids, you know, and then I'm putting these lines, and they look like really, really small edges. You know? It can be, it can be a, a no-go sometimes. So. Uh, it really depends how you put it there, okay. okay. And the most important thing is uh, working with depth. Mm -hmm. Depending how you're working on it, um, the darker the line, the closer it is. The, the thinner the line, the further it is. This is actually a, a, a cuter version for you. <laughs> And uh, also, you know, people have different styles at all. You know, caricature is, is a multi multitude of uh, different theories, but, I mean, style is, is up for grabs. You know, like, um, if you look at um, Japanese artists and their style, it's, it's completely different from people from the States. You know, people from the States, they are more about actual, like, 3D fullness, like you can grab it, you know, Japanese. Whenever they draw, it's more about like a 2D, very flat and abstract style. So caricature is open to anybody in that respect. Okay, let's see here. Okay. And the thing with hair, you know, like uh, I used to hate drawing hair, but uh, the, the, the fun thing about hair is that uh, Actually, less less is more sometimes. When you're drawing here, you're just like, eh, you're like scribbling lunch. Like, I don't have time for this. You know, like, everyone always works on the face like, oh, this face is amazing. I put all this rendering detail. And then they fuck it all up with the hair. So the thing is, like, sometimes whenever you're uh, drawing hair, here's the face over here, for example, and you're drawing hair, right? If It's just about the, the less you put in inside, right? the more it, fuller it feels already, right? Go like that. And there's kind of like a, a small halo of light all around the person, right? Because the light is always coming down like this. So if you look at uh, up her head, you know, there's a small halo of light going around. So just by doing this all around it like that, you know, and then skipping a uh, space and then going like this, right? It gives, it gives that halo effect. Okay, so. Keep that in mind when you're drawing here. Less is more. Okay. 
Uh, another thing is uh, when, for example, if I'm working on a... No, no, no. If, when you're working on a particular curve like this, inside it, you start following those lines along with it. Right? Uh-huh. For now, that's fine. And then work on the other side as well. The, the most important thing is like, I have a habit of doing this too, is I usually draw the eyes first, right? But um, it's kind of uh, a good idea to draw the entire head and the hair as well because that's what encapsulates the, the entire face, right? If you can do that, then it's easy to draw everything inside it. If you draw the eyes first and you start drawing the head Next, it, it you start to lose shape and and uh, how can I say it? less? It looks less like the person sometimes. Okay. So just overall, nothing too much. You know, it's it's actually much more crazier in real life than this. But uh, what's really interesting later, like I'm not working on details. Details is like the last thing I do. Details is something like it's like this. You know, like her hair is a little bit stringy, and I can put some stringy out stuff like that. And hopefully, this kind of gives like her personality. You know, like she loves cats or something, right? <laughs> uh, that kind of stuff. So remember, details is always the, the last thing you do. For example, you always draw the hand first before you draw fingers, right? You draw the head first be before you draw the eyes and the nose and stuff. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, sometimes you can do the body as well. Let's give you some tiny hands. Little rabbit hands. Yeah, she's got rabbit hands. Something like this. Okay. And then. Yeah. Usually, when I do a caricature, though, I, I only do about this much here. Sometimes people do full bodies and stuff, you can do the entire concepts and stuff. And. Um, yeah, that's, that's that's basically it. Right. That's it. So uh, yeah. So um, so and, and it doesn't take you know it takes a long time to practice, but when you do it later on, it doesn't take a long time to draw a caricature. It's just like you got to know what you want to draw, and um, obviously, ninety-eight percent, I I believe, is like all mental. It's all in your mind because you don't really need you don't need to work out. You know, you don't need to take steroids to draw. Right? If there was, I would take it. I I had like the smallest penis in the world to draw. So. But the thing is, is that when you, when you do it, you just gotta keep drawing and uh, just satisfy yourself and stuff. So. This is uh, for you, Allison. You can take that. And if anyone else wants a character, just let me know, and I'll draw you guys here. So nice. Okay. Hold, okay. Allison, hold up. Let's get a All right, yeah, final let's shot. Sure, sure, you guys can take a picture. There it is. Very nice. <laughs>